What is going on everybody? The tank is done. It's set up. It is freaking awesome. I love it. Um, I just want to let you guys all know, like, to me this is a huge deal. I know a lot of you guys have had big tanks in 100, 100 gallon, 120, 125, maybe bigger, 180, 300 gallon. This is the biggest tank I have ever had. I am super freaking stoked. This is a milestone for me in aquarium size and the entire time that I've been doing this uh, uh, this aquarium channel here on YouTube. So thank all of you subscribers and thank you guys for watching my videos. This is a huge deal for me. So freaking excited, it's so cool. And I got I got two new fish in there as of right now. I'm gonna show you all the fish. Uh, it's a little hard to film on this because the, back, the black background kind of acts as a mirror and there's a lot of reflection, but I'll see what I can do. Before I show you the tank real quick, Check this out. I'm going to show you a real quick photograph of a week ago of what happened to Ragnar. Now, in case you're not in my aquarium group on Facebook, Aquarium Enthusiasts, if you're not in there, click up, go, go join the group. It's really cool. But a week ago, uh, my wife set off the fire alarm when she was cooking, and I went to wave a towel at it. After I walked past the tank, Ragnar freaked out. I heard this big sploosh and he darted across the tank and he, he sliced his head. Uh, saw this big chunk of flesh hanging and then like I actually saw blood come out and then it, it uh, and then it coagulated or what do you call it, but um, it looked freaking horrible, but it's actually uh, it healed up pretty quick. So he's, he's doing completely fine. Uh, I didn't add anything to the water and I changed him over uh, into the new tank. Also, before I show you the tank, check out this quick before and after picture. Absolutely freaking amazing. Shows you what you can do if you put a little bit of work in. I actually saved a ton of money by doing all this work myself. Um, but without further ado, guys, here's the tank. All right, guys, there she is, all set up, looking absolutely beautiful. Now, I wasn't able to actually film me setting this up. I wanted to, but when I got home Friday after work, I was really tired. By the time my wife got home and we ate dinner, it was 7 o'clock, and it took me two and a half hours to set this up. I wasn't done until about 9.30, and had I filmed when I went along, it would have just prolonged it, and it was a humongous mess in here, so... Uh, sorry, I did not get to film that. This is my seat in the house. This is our little living room right here. There's my daughter's tank. That's my, and I'm telling you right now, this is the best seat in the house. You just sit right here. Let me show you my view of this tank. Right here. So awesome. Uh, I did not put a curtain on there yet. As of right now, the stand is open. I'll deal with that later. I'm going to put some type of black curtain, but... Uh, so filtration, I got my uh, canister filter, the Sun Sun HW704B, I believe that is. Uh, I have that running. I did not put the sponge filters in. Uh, on the back, nice and clean back here. So I put on both the top fin HOBs, so that's the three filters that are on here. There's my digital thermometer going into the tank, 77.5. Well, as you guys can see, this is not the original light that I had planned. That's not the long six-foot gutter that I had on here. That light was nowhere near bright enough at all. It was actually really horrible. Uh, those LED lights are really cool for something you want to put in your garage or maybe your bedroom or something, but as a tank light, it did not work out at all. Not bright enough. So, um, as soon as I set this tank up, which was last Friday night, this is Sunday afternoon, um, Yesterday, I listed my 55 gallon for sale. It sold within a couple of hours. I got a hundred bucks for it, and then I went out and bought these at PetSmart. These are 50 bucks each. Uh, top fin 30 inch LED lights. They have adjustable feet on them, and they're just it's just one big LED strip light. And honestly, even these aren't all that bright, but what I like about these is that. Both of these together kind of give it a mid brightness, which, and what I mean by that is fish don't need light. They don't care. The light is for us so we can see the fish. So because in this video, it looks pretty bright. 
Um, if you are standing here in person, it's about half that brightness. It's bright enough to you can clearly see the fish and see the nice colors on them, but it's also dim enough as to not annoy the hell out of the fish. And I think this is actually going to be cool. Um, I'm going to leave these lights on for a long time. And these fish are just out swimming like crazy. But, uh, man, six feet long, eight, 19 by 19 over here. As you can see, my tank has almost cleared up. It's still a little hazy. So when I set this up, pretty much all new water in here, added a whole bunch of water conditioner and some beneficial bacteria to get the jump start. So there's a little bit of a, a bio bloom going on in here, really small. Uh, in two days, this thing has cleared up really, really fast. There's Ragnar. And I'll tell you what, one thing, I really love the black background because it kind of hides everything. This tank is, looks a lot darker, like I said, in person. You can barely even see the stuff back there. I also don't like it because it's a huge reflector of any light in the room. Sometimes it's hard to see, but I just wanted to throw out my recommendation here real quick. I swear by these API stress coat, that's water conditioner, and the API quick start is your beneficial bacteria starter. I swear by these. I, these things are freaking amazing. I know a lot of you guys use Seacom Prime and things like that. Honestly, I think this is better. I have used this quick start in so many tanks just setting it up right off the bat and it almost instantly cycles within a few days as long as you don't have a whole lot of fish but um, I, I swear by these these are awesome I highly recommend the two main chemicals the only two that you need for your tank I don't know if you can see right there the heaters right there right there on the back the one thing I just about got those calibrated perfectly to where they both turn on almost at the same time and turn off maybe maybe like 30 seconds apart but and see look at this you can totally see me in the background of that black background that's how reflective it is but I got those heaters calibrated really really nice so let's see if I can find some fish in here for you at the end of this video I'm gonna film I already got some footage I'm gonna throw in so there's the original guys, and you can see here's a new little green terror. Really, really pretty guy. Probably one of the smallest in here, but look at those pretty colors on him, or her. And look at the scratches on the tank. <laughs> this is going to be one pretty green terror. That's the Jack Dempsey back there, Convict Firemouth, and a really, really, really pretty Oscar. He's a little shy, but he actually likes uh, the Jaguar. Oh, there he goes in, infiltrating the Jaguar's house. Those two kind of seem to get along. Oh, there's the Oscar. Some really, really pretty colors. Like I said, the end of this video, I am going to show a lot of footage of these fish. You can get a better look at them. I've got a whole bunch of clay pots in there. As you can see, went and got some at Home Depot, busted them up so they got some hiding places. One piece of driftwood, there's Ragnar just hiding. There's his little scrape on his head, as you can see, has healed up a lot. He's doing really good. This little green terror and the Oscar I got at my local fish store. You can see his fins are pretty frayed. That's how I got him at the local fish store. He was in a tank with a whole bunch of other fish. He was getting beat up. But in after 30 minutes of it, this tank, I put in a few flakes. He already started eating. So, oh. And the one thing I forgot, the Red Terror, uh, he died. He pretty much starved himself the entire time he was in my 55 gallon. He would not eat. I tried many different foods. Uh, he wouldn't even eat blood worms, and I wasn't going to go crazy with 10 different types of food to try to feed him. He just would not eat and kept shrinking, never grew. And then when I switched over this tank, uh, Friday night I had all these guys in a cooler for about two hours I had two separate coolers one for Ragnar one for these fish and I had an air stone and by the time I put him back in here he was swimming around and just started turning uh, just floating around and the coolers were just too much added stress and he passed away there's these stupid tops they're working for now I'm going to change those they're just temporary I don't know when I'll get around to it but these lights are pretty cool. I like them. You can turn them both on and off right here. I did not put the sponge filters in, not as of yet. I just wanted to see 
I'm going to test my water parameters here in about a week, see what they're like. I don't necessarily want to put them in unless I need to, but we'll see what happens. The tank looks nice and clean the way it is. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's the 100 gallon all set up. Everything's working good. I hope to God this doesn't ever explode here in the living room or I am completely screwed. Good thing I got renter's insurance. Uh, I have complete confidence in everything that I did. I reinforced the floor in the crawl space, reinforced the stand. The tank is resealed. However, it's an old tank. I mean, as far as the silicone that's actually between the glass, I have no idea. So hopefully this thing never explodes on me in my living room. Good thing I got renter's insurance. <laughs> but uh, aside from that, I absolutely love this tank. Now I just got to wait a couple years and grow these guys out. I'm going to have some monsters in here. That Jaguar, the Green Terror, and the Oscar are definitely going to get big. Um, Convict, Firemouth, Jack Dempsey, those guys won't get too big. But um, I'm thinking about pay, putting maybe one or two fish, more fish in here. Not sure exactly what. There's a Petco down the street. They actually have electric blue Jack Dempsey's, but they're $20 each. Hey, there's the Oscar. There he is. Really, really cool. He, I got him in my local fish store. Really, really pretty colors. He's going to look awesome when he gets big. All right, I think I mentioned just about everything I could. Uh, I will leave you guys with some footage of the fish. Thanks for watching. I will post an update here in about a week or two.